the f Today I've booked myself in for a track day at Castle Coombe Circuit. It's a racetrack really close to me that's super famous and actually really, really good fun to go and visit. And I decided to take the Model 3 performance onto it for a whole day. Sadly, some things in my schedule changed and I ended up only having until 10 o'clock. So I basically had to get there and burn as much battery as I could. So I thought I would try and challenge myself to burn a whole battery around the track in under an hour. Let me know in the top right corner of the screen, do you think it's gonna be over 200 miles and burn the whole battery or is it gonna be under 200 miles and it's actually gonna be more efficient than I'm expecting? Also, in the last couple of videos, some people have been saying that I've been sharing my location of where I live and that I shouldn't be. It's actually not a problem. So the house that I'm currently at is actually now my new business. That's why I had to take the last couple of days away. Uh, we started an Airbnb at this house and I'm actually gonna offer 10% off to anybody from the Tesla driver channel that comes over and books to stay at our Airbnb. You can get 10% off. There's gonna be electric charging there uh, and it's gonna be really, really nice. So make sure you go check it out. It's on screen now, link that down below in the description. But I don't actually mind showing the location because I'm not actually living there. Also, thank you to all you new patrons that's come over and supported the channel. It's really helping in getting this channel my daily job. I had to miss the last couple of days because the Airbnb just blew up and we had like 14 reservations and I've had to do loads of stuff. So apologies for that. But thank you, you patrons. You're really helping make this content daily. In fact, you guys actually paid for the ticket to get me into this track day. So this video is on the patrons. Time for me to shut up though. Let's get onto the track and see me race around the circuit. With track mode on, we should have more power, higher regen braking, all kind of good things. So that is set up and ready to go, and so am I. Okay, let's have a whirl, shall we? So I've never raced before. Let's see how fast this thing is. Oh, this is so cool. The car sticks and it absolutely flies out. Jeez. We've got a little bend here, cutting it. I don't know the track, so I'm kind of just following this Golf and Audi. But the power that this car has is insane. Oh, I've just been stumped by something. Oh, we're going, we're going, let's go. So I'm not quite sure when we're gonna be able to overtake. Like I don't 100% know when the corners of the track aren't corners. Going for the overtake. Breaking hard. Oh, this, the way that this pulls when you come out of a corner in track mode is unreal. Like, absolutely unreal. You can just fling this thing into any corner and it just comes out so well. We've got to leave a bit of space here. I think we'll wait for that next big overtake area before we go for another overtake. Apparently that VW driver thinks he can break track etiquette, but he was actually black flagged and I didn't see him for the rest of the day. He was taken straight off the course and got a big telling off. You've got to stay in the line when you're going into the corner and you can't overtake on corners. That's exactly what he did.
Right, we're going round here. Flying out. Woo! Let's go! This thing is a rocket! Catching up with the pack here. Go, go, go! Whoa. I could push past, but we, we can't, sadly. Again, because it's an open track, you're really not meant to overtake on corners and stuff, so. So we've lost about 40 miles of charge since we started. The track is only two miles long. Uh, so you, you can count how many, obviously, uh, laps we're doing here. to get past anyone really yet because the, although the car's fast obviously it's really known for the zero to 60 so obviously it does pick up higher end really really fast but so do these cars especially the finely tuned ones with the bigger turbos they sprawl up and are really tough just to get around but i'm just kind of warming up getting used to the track getting used to the feel of the car because obviously I've never even gone this fast in the Model 3 before. There we go, we're going past. I'm gonna do one more lap and then I'm gonna come off for a minute. can smell from my car is tire and I can smell gas and oil and everything from all the other cars and these are my normal road tires by the way so yeah these aren't like special track ones I believe they're just the pro pilots that um, Tesla put on for stock but I'm not 100% sure I'll have to double check which ones they are exactly There we go, we're past. All right, now because I'm out front, obviously I've got to be a bit more careful because I'm not varying my speed by what the other drivers are doing. So I'm gonna really, really push it for this final lap. All right, everyone? We're gonna really go for it and we're gonna try and set ourselves, you're not meant to, but we're gonna set ourselves a time as we go past. Oh, that was lovely. Woo! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Woohoo! You're not really meant to break going into the corners like that, but 
I kind of misjudged it, I think, because I went a bit too fast. Not sure what that Clio is doing. Basically, I'm trying to lose the Nova. There's a Nova behind me, and I'm trying to lose the Nova, and I'm being pretty successful at losing it. Might take on this Honda Accord. have to find the time to overtake this Honda Accord. So in track as well, what I'm noticing is uh, a great amount of regen. The regen is so much more in track mode, it's unreal. So I'm really, really quite liking that. Here we go, out the corner. Let's pump it out. We're gonna have to take this Honda on the next one. So we're gonna go, we're gonna take the Honda on this next uh, straight here. Ready? Right, take that. And we'll take you as well. Thank you very much. Let's go, Tesla, let's go. Show these in con internal combustion engine falls why they shouldn't buy internal combustion engine let's go right we're going to try and catch up with that Clio up ahead of us here we go Zoom, zoom! Take this corner. Super hard break for that corner. Let's go out, just touch it. I can feel the traction control sending power to every corner of this car. It's phenomenal. The way this car can just push itself and keep going. We're coming down to 150 miles, so it is eating up the battery quite a bit. But that's cool. I don't mind. I can charge it <laughs> when I get home. Let's push it, let's push it. I recommend whenever anyone gets a new performance car to do something like this, just so that you can get a feel of it under insane amounts of power. And you can figure out how to, how to control it. Go way up here. You'll notice things like it doesn't show the car braking on the screen. I don't know if autopilot would work and I don't know if it's picking up the other cars in front, but let's have a look. tires Tesla murder those tires all right here we go we're going out some traffic let's see how we can overtake some of these you'll see that it does actually show on here other cars which is so so cool it's actually showing the other cars as if like it wants to do something with them all right 
right, thank you, MR2. Okay, we've got to get in behind. All right, we're, we're with the Clio that I said previously I wanted to race. Let's see its power out of these corners. now I want to see if I can get an overtake but it is just so congested in front that it makes it a bit tough We're going to be coming off now, so we're getting into this left lane, and we're just going to pull in here on the left and enter the pits with everybody else. Wow, guys, that was so fun, but we're down to 132 miles, which means we can only do this one more time, and then I need to keep the charge to get home. But luckily, we're in a rush, though. I only wanted to go up until about 10 o'clock today, so that should be okay. All right, let's have a little break and then get back on the track. We're going to go out now and have another spin, around kind of 10 laps worth. You can see I've got 131 miles here, so it is eating into the mileage really, really quick. Let's see how much it eats in the next 10 miles, but I need about like 30 to get home. So I'm going to try and burn 100 miles in 10 laps. The first thing you'll notice when you put track mode on is the whole car starts buzzing. It's really, really strange. It almost feels like there's an engine here, but I think it's the AC cooling down the drivetrain and cooling down the battery pack and everything. Uh, but it makes a lot more noise and you start noticing the car just, it just behaves like a little bit differently, like not masses of difference, but a little bit differently. Okay, so what have we got? Let's have a look. Yeah, it's 100 and, 130 miles. Let's try get this down, shall we, to, I don't know, something else. Alright, we're onto the track. We're behind the pack, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna catch up pretty quick. Let's do this. Uh yeah, we, we've already caught up. Now I might have some reduced power around these laps just because obviously there's not as much battery in the car, but we'll see. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Let's 
excuse me. Electric power, baby. I'm trying to do electric power proud here. I was talking to everybody after my last lap and everyone said they're going to be watching the car to see how it performs. Oh, it's amazing the way that it just brings the power out of the car. I can feel, I can feel the exact tire that's like pulling me or pushing me through a corner. Next enemy here. Everybody's an enemy. Let's cut in. Here comes electric. No problem. Get that tire squeal and power through the straight. bought the performance model if you could see my face now you wouldn't have to ask that question and if you saw my trousers you'd know how capable this is because I'm not shitting it at all let's go we've got a Ford Focus next to try and get around got to keep an eye though I'm starting to lose it feels a little bit slower. If I'm being totally honest, it feels like it's lost a little bit of power. But I mean, it's, it's still obviously very mightily capable. And it is just putting these cars to absolute shame. Stop burning fossil. Start burning electricity. Down now to a hundred miles. Around the corner. Let's go, let's go. All right, let's see if we can take two or three of these on the next straight. I think we'll be able to. I need to get as much speed as I can. No, they're pulling away. I won't be able to get them this one. On the next long straight, I think I'll be able to. Just keeping an eye on here. You can see my PSIs are at 44. The tires are getting hot. But 44 is exactly where they want to be, so that's fine. Okay, we're gonna try and go for the undertake. There we go, there's one. I'll sit behind this Honda, and then I'm just gonna absolutely obliterate it coming out of this. Scooby. And 
let's whip this around. All right, here we go. We've got open space. Let's try and leave the pack behind on our final two laps. Bursting through Castle Coombe Circuit here. Come here, Salika, or whatever your name is. Salika. Oh, rumble. Okay, we're going to have to go behind him here. But we're getting ready to do a big overtake. Here it comes. Power through. Leaving them for standing. I wonder if this is the first time one of these has actually come around this track. Let's go. Yeah, we're definitely down on power. Like definitely, definitely down on power. But that's not stopping me. That is not stopping me one bit. The grip! <laughs> it's phenomenal! Yeah, but look at this. The power is really quite low. It's not pushing us like it was before, that is for sure. Yeah, I'm feeling it like really struggle now to get the same power that it was you can see like we're pushing 95 100 whereas we were right. i think 20 through here before so we definitely uh definitely have lost power but still it's still performing incredibly well even with this low power incredible absolutely incredible i'm gonna do one more lap because i think that's gonna bring us down to about the 30 miles left I'm really going to push it. I'm just telling the car that it needs to keep on working. It can't stop. It can't stop. It's going to keep giving me as much power as it can all the way until the end. That's it. Now power through. Come on, come on. Come on, Tesla. We're going down to 50 miles now. It's really struggling to get back to the power it was. Thank you for that guy for moving out my way. <laughs> Baby, let's go. Excuse me, Saxo! He's not letting me pass. And I, I don't think I quite have that same power to get past him anyway, like I used to. If I pile it out the corner... Oh no, you can see actually that I catch up quite quick, but... How much charge have I got? Oh, I've got enough for one more lap. All right, 
we've got enough for one more lap, everyone. Let's real push it this time. Are we going to get past? You see it's struggling to pick up here. But it's not struggling on the corners. And it's still absolutely dominating this race course. We've got to get in behind everyone. You can't overtake obviously at the corners or around the corners, so we've got to be a little bit careful on that. Here comes the Model 3 though. Come on Typo, you got this. I don't know why it's still got the emergency brake on, that's weird. we go oh no ah oh, okay one more lap one more lap here we go whoa it's on everybody in the rear view mirror he is gone bye bye and this is the model 3's territory baby And there we go guys and that is going to be me coming off the track 30 miles there we go i don't know how many laps that was but someone can count up if they can Whoa. i am sweating can you hear that look at this this is literally sweat all over this and i don't know if you can hear the car but it's pretty loud But I tell you what, we destroyed them all.